Today we're going to be talking about flipping houses out of state. Andy from Oregon, this is your show. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and folks, it's all about education here at Holton Wise TV, but there's a lot of other people out there that are doing the education thing, right? Where we differ from them, they teach you this education. Usually it's a it's a lead funnel to sell you some type of educational product, right? Whether it be one-on-one -on -one coaching, a book, a program, yada, yada, okay? Now, I'm not going to say whether or not uh, these books or programs, I'm not going to speak to the validity of that, the validity of those books or programs, right? Some are probably great, some probably stink, right? But what every one of them has in common, folks, they stop short of working with you in the real world, right? Once they collect that money from you, they give you the education, which is essentially all theory, right? And then when it comes time to you implementing that that education in the real world, that's it. They're gone. They're done with you. They wipe their hands with you, right? They're, they're no longer there. What we do at Holton Wise is different, right? We started out with the education, but then we back that up with real world deals that we could work on together. That's what this show is all about. I'm a licensed real estate broker. So we're going to go over properties that I can then represent you in the purchase of. My team will then be able to handle the property management, the maintenance, the insurance, the title insurance. When you want to sell them several years down the road, we will do that for you as well on our other show the investment properties for a sales show, right? So that's what this show's all about, one-on-one. -on -one. If you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one, the way you're about to watch me work with Andy, send my team an email, sales at holdwise.com. Give us your phone number. We'll give you a call. We'll get it set up, right? But what we're doing uh, for Andy, the man of the hour, uh, <clears throat> Andy, you... I want to talk to you. Uh, this is the first video you got, right? You ordered 10 of them from me, okay? And I'm actually filming two of them for you. I'm filming this one right now, obviously. And then as soon as I finish this one, I'm going to film you a second video. And I'm going to send them both to you probably at the same time. Because I want to talk to you about you and your plan, right? You've given me a lot of information about you. Uh, first off, I, I like the one thing you say. You said YOLO, right? You're down to take high risks. You're down to, to do some risks, right? You only live once, okay? I like that about you. But that said, I don't necessarily know if you're barking up the right tree, okay? You are a pharmacy manager. Now, for those of you that don't know, pharmacy managers make buku bucks, okay? That is a very highly paid profession. Uh, if memory serves me correctly, I believe you have to go to school for six years to become a pharmacist, and then you have to, you know, run, you know, work in the pharmacy for several years before they, you know, promote you to the pharmacy manager, right? So, yeah, I'll go to like a Walgreens, Rite Aid, CVS, whatever, right? You got a bunch of pharmacists all making well above six figures, and then you got a pharmacy manager who probably makes like thirty to fifty thousand dollars more than the rest of the pharmacists. Okay, a lot of money, right? You make a lot of money. Okay, now. Andy, you may or may not, uh, it may or may not be like your dream job, right? You may or may not like it, and you're looking to real estate for some level of financial freedom so you don't have to do that forever. That's great. That's awesome. We could help you out with that. But what I really want to hammer down to you is, is utilizing your resources uh, for, for the best possible impact, okay? What I'm talking about is, you know, you're looking at flips as this way out, right? But what I think you're probably failing to understand is you have such a high dollar per hour earning that I would be afraid you would be spending too much time actively looking into flips and you'd actually be taking a pay decrease, right? There's not a lot of people there to, that can make the, the kind of dollars you make per hour, right? The barrier to entry to flipping a house is much lower than the barrier to entry to being a pharmacy manager. So don't sell yourself short. Don't forget about that, right? And a couple of your questions, okay? Uh, the one question, what is a reasonable profit on a flip in Cleveland? And then the second question you had to me, what is the timeline? How long does the average flip take? I know there are a lot of variables here. Let me talk about that question first. 
To answer that question specifically, I want you to pause this video. In the show notes below, I've included another video for you. It is the Holton Wise renovation process, right? Valerie, she's the general manager here at Holton Wise. She explains to you on a very simple, easy to understand basis all of the, the ways that our construction timelines work, right? When you send your deposit money, when we get you to sign the bid when we do this when we do that right so that's all outlined for you in a couple minute video right so i want you to click the link below check that out it's going to answer that question for you as for your second question right what is a reasonable profit on a flip in cleveland okay now what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about a property which is basically going to answer that question right this is a, a pretty standard type deal uh, that we can look into you, right? 6202 Ridgewood Avenue, Parma. It's been on the market for 47 days. This is one of the cheaper homes in Parma. As a matter of fact, I think it's like one of the five lowest value homes. As soon as this hit the market, I actually sent this to another investor who was also looking to flip homes, right? Uh, but he decided not to make an offer because I think he was a little underwhelmed with the type of profit uh, that could be made off of these, right? This is a reasonable deal we could put together with some type of regularity. So what I want you to do now is I want you to take a look at that footage. 6202 Ridgewood Avenue, Parma 44129. As you see right here in the right corner of the screen, zero days on the market. This literally popped on the market today. If you want to take this deal down, you're going to have to move quick because this will fly, okay? People that are interested in this are going to be both investors and owner occupants, right? Parma is a nice, nice city for flips. Uh, we flip uh, a lot of houses in this particular neighborhood, right? Because it's a neighborhood that the prices are, are driven by first-time home buyers, right? You're, it's, it's your your first-time home buyers and your entry-level home buyer type neighborhood, right? Not as many rentals. Uh, you know, all the rental neighborhoods and stuff like you know a lot of the areas in Cleveland. Those are majority rental neighborhoods. This is like you know the entry level into neighborhoods that are, are more owner occupied, right? So you get some very low price points, uh, which is nice because you only have about 100K in cash to work with, right? They got it listed at 109,900. And this is like a quick get in, get out cosmetic flip, right? This is the cool thing about this flip, right? This is, this is the ideal situation for somebody like you. There's not going to be as many unknowns, right? Looking from the curb appeal, everything looks great. That roof, it's a, a fairly new roof, right? As far as uh, what the listing agent said, let's check this out. Perfect home for someone looking to make a place of their own or the savvy investor. All the expensive updates are done. Brand new roof 2020, new HVAC, updated windows, new, new hot water tank. Move in and make the home your own and then just blah, 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 blah. Just other realtor jargon, right? But what I wanted to get out there was the big stuff, right? The roof, the furnace, the hot water tank. That stuff is taken care of for you. That's why this is going to be a simple, easy flip, right? If you go to the photos here, what you're seeing, right? Like the living room, okay? It's just like dated, right? It's dated. It's ugly, right? You got that like oak looking uh, trim, right? You know, you got the, the old carpet, okay? There's just no wow factor. The kitchen, right? This is our biggest seller, dude. This kitchen doesn't impress anybody. Like this red uh, vinyl type looking floor, this old crappy fridge, these, you know, kitchen cabinets and countertops from like the 70s or the 60s or the 80s. I don't know what era it's from, but it ain't from 2020, right? So like you get a lot of these first time home buyers, a lot of these newer buyers, right? They're looking for like that fresh, hot look, right? They're looking for the the gray paint, the, the white cabinetry, the stone countertop, the stainless steel appliances. They're not getting that wow factor with this, dude. They're just getting like their grandma's kitchen, right? And they're not going to new builds because, you know, we're in a price point that's uh, lower than that, right? New builds, you know, they're usually at least 200K, right? Uh, so this is a perfect cosmetic flip. Uh, allows us to just jump in, do some cosmetic work, jump out, right? Like, look at this bathroom, dude. Like, look at the vanity here. It's just like, dude, it's got to be like 20 years old. It's just like, doesn't impress anybody. But our big stuff, our big high cost stuff already taken care of, right? So because of that, what I want to see you do, right? I want to try to pick this up cash for as much as 95000 95000 is going to be our cutoff, right? That's about as much as I think it makes sense for you to try to pay for this thing. Ideally, I'd like to see you get it at ninety. Ninety thousand 90000 would be better. 
uh, but 95 would be the most, right? As far as renovations go, simple, easy cosmetic reno, dude. I broke this down. I think it's going to be about 20500 right? Breaking it down, I think we're going to spend, I give you two numbers, right? I give you the low estimate and the high estimate, okay? I, I think on this one, it, it's pretty clear that most everything's going to be towards the low end, right? I don't see any major damage. Uh, there's not a lot of unknowns. This is pretty easy, so I don't see why we would get uh, pushed up to the high end on a lot of these. But, you know, I'm looking at 3500 uh, to get everything painted, a new fresh paint, right? Agreeable gray. Once this uh, person moves out, right? It's tenant occupied right now, but the tenant's going to be moving out. And that's just going to help us, right? That's going to keep the price down, right? Because those first time home buyers that are trying to come in here, number one, they're not going to be wowed because the kitchen and the bath look like their grandma's kitchen and the bath. Number two, there's actually somebody living there, right? So they can't really, you know, get that like wow factor and experience the home. So the fact is it's going to be difficult to sell under those circumstances, right? If the seller was smart, they would have removed the tenant now and at least had it be empty as opposed to trying to squeeze out every little last penny of rent and let the tenant stay there till it closes. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's just a classic seller who's uh, trying to pick up pennies and they're missing dollars. They're going to lose a lot of money on their purchase price because they're greedy fucks and they're trying to get like every last penny of rent. Like if they were intelligent, they would have told the tenant to move out now and just like ate the fact that, yo, your house is not going to get rent for like two more months while you sell it. But instead, these idiots are going to lose thousands of dollars just making it difficult and closing off their buyer base, right? So that's cool though for you, right? For you and me, we're gonna take advantage of that. That's why we're gonna to try to pick it up between 90 and 95,000, right? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to holtonwise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Uh, so, once that tenant moves out, right? Patching the holes and stuff, but it all looks pretty good. So 35 to 65, probably a lot closer to 35. Refinishing um, those floors. We're gonna rip out that carpet. As far as that nasty like red stuff that we saw in the kitchen, we're gonna be putting vinyl flooring over top of that. In addition, we're gonna make matching vinyl flooring in that bath. We should spend approximately four, could be as high as six, likely four. I really don't see a lot of unknowns coming here that allows us to get up to the high end prices. This is, uh, yeah, dude, this is like, a, I could do a flip like this in my sleep, right? This is just easy, right? So I think we're gonna spend about four, uh, 10K to 15K in that kitchen, you know, getting a stone countertop, getting updated Home Depot Lowe's quality cabinetry, right? You don't wanna feel like your grandma's house, right? 10 to 15 Gs, uh, three to five in that bathroom, right? So worst case scenario, we spent 32,500, but dude, I, you know, you could also go outside and get struck by lighting. I find it very unlikely we spend that much. What's uh, closer to reality is we're probably going to spend approximately 20,500. Okay. So worst case scenario, pick it up at 95, which again, I'd like to see you pick it up at 90, but 95 is the most I'd pay, put 20,500 into it. Uh, we would then be able to sell it for 145000 uh, With the sale comes 10000 or so in commissions and 1400 in closing costs. So we would be able to squeeze out almost an $18,000 profit, right? $17,000, $18,000 in profit. Not a bad payday for you uh, to knock it out completely passive, right? The prices I gave you, those are not prices that you would... Um, like those are not prices based on you doing the work yourself or anything of that nature. Those are the prices that Holton Wise would actually charge you, right? That's going to include materials. That's going to include labor. So all you need to do is purchase this property. We will act as your broker. My team will go in. We'll run the whole renovation. That's going to be the budget for the renovation. And then we'll go in and we'll sell it. In your form here, I put in my commission, the commission I would charge you to sell, the 10000 bucks. So when it's all said and done, dude, your net payday should be approximately seventeen to eighteen thousand dollars. Not bad for a guy who's not living in Cleveland and you're completely passive, right? You're not doing anything other than saying, yeah, go ahead, team, knock it out, and then we'll handle the whole process. This is just a super simple, low risk flip. And one thing I want to bring to your attention too, uh, that you may have not even noticed, um, we do not have a garage here. Okay, if you see the neighboring properties, they have these little lean to garages. In my opinion, I do not think we would need to put a garage in there. There's some cities in, uh, in the Cleveland market that would make you do a garage. Parma is not one of those. And all we have in these little neighborhoods is these little tiny lean to garages. 
I'm of the impression the first time home buyer base, the people we'd be targeting, they get wowed by that kitchen in the bath. I fact the fact that we wouldn't be installing a new garage in there. The garage would cost 15 to 20 K. I factored that in to our exit price. I believe we wow them with a new kitchen, new bath, in addition to the fact that the house is already coming with all the other big ticket items being new. New roof, new furnace, uh, new hot water tank, right? The fact that everything is wild for them, I think it's going to be very easy for these buyers to overlook the fact that there isn't a garage. They could simply get themselves like a $2,000 shed from Home Depot, things of that nature. The garage is in this area. It's not like a neighborhood where there's like attached two-car garages and they're very nice, right? They're just teeny tiny old little lean-to garages. A lot of yards don't have them, so it's not that big a deal. I just wanted to clarify to you in case you're scrolling through the photos and you're wondering where the garage is. I didn't want you to think that like I didn't notice that or I skipped that. Not going to be a big deal. I still think we'll hit our 145 and I still think we'll hit our 17 to 18K profit. Again, I think it'd be very unlikely uh, that we would blow our budget on this deal. Because, dude, this is just a teeny little Parma bungalow. Dude, we've renovated freaking hundreds of these things, man. They're all built very similar. Uh, you know, I've lived in these things, right? Like, uh, you know, like very, you know, I've grown up, I grew up in Parma. So, you know, I've, I've seen all types of houses like this. Like, this is just an easy quick flip we could do, uh, you know, in our sleep. Welcome back, Andy. So that is a pretty good understanding of a number by number breakdown of the types of flips we can do, right? I know a lot of people, they think, you know, they see these things where people talk about how they made 50 grand on a flip or 100 grand on a flip, and I've made those types of profits as well. But I don't want you to think, brother, that there is just like this inventory of like 30 houses out there right now, and I'm just like, oh, Andy, the pharmacy dude in Oregon, you want to make 100 grand in two months? No fucking problem, dog. Boom, here's a hundred grand. Here you go, motherfucker, right? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to holtonwise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. It doesn't work that way, okay? So to, do, to be practical, right? Something like this, right? A little bit under 20K, completely passive, right? Because you got to understand, other than spending a couple bucks, you're adding no value to anybody, right? So, you know, you're not going to be able to just like find these guys like, hey guys, you know, go find me $100,000 and uh, I'll give you a couple grand, right? Like nobody's really going to go out there and, you know, find massive windfalls for you, right? So you'd have to look into deals like this, uh, and even this particular deal, just so you know, it's, uh, not every deal like this is going to go through, right? It's going to take a lot of analysis, a lot of numbers to make sure the numbers make sense, right? So you're going to have to do a lot of videos to get a deal like this to go down because maybe the sellers take your offer, maybe they don't, right? So if you're asking me, like, what type of frequency, I would say, I can't, you know, guarantee it, but we're probably going to need to look into, like, five or ten deals exactly like this one do the due diligence, do the numbers, do the analysis, put in the offers, right? We're probably going to need to do like five to 10 for every one of them that's going to actually close, right? So I want you to keep that in mind. That is setting a realistic expectation for you. So I don't know what your expectations were. If you thought like you do one video, you're going to make 50 or or $100,000 on your flip and you move on and you get to quit the pharmacy job next week. Uh, that's not realistic, right? What's more realistic is like five or 10 videos on deals like this uh, with the goal of making like a fifteen to $20,000 profit one out of 10 times, right? That is something that is realistic. So do you think that's a good value uh, for a lot of your time, right? I know you're a very high dollar per hour earner, right? So that is a realistic expectation of what you can reasonably do passively on flips in Cleveland. Now, if you want to do that, you want to move forward with this deal, let us know. Reply to this private link, and my team will submit the offer. Let us know exactly how much you want to offer, and we will go from there. However, that said, I have a another type of deal that I think might uh, be more reasonable to somebody like you, right? Because you have resources. You have all of this W-2 income coming in, right? So uh, this is the flip option 
but I think you'd probably be better suited with some of the other things I have in mind uh, for you in your investing career, which I am going to get to you in the very next video, which I am going to film after I end this video, which I am about to do right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.